Hi, so welcome to the second episode on spell specialization in animals. So first of all, we're going to start by talking about nerve cells or neurons. These are specialized to transmit electrical messages around the body. Some key features are axons. So these are part of the cell that electrical signals travel along. Nerve cells have a long axon and this increases the distance that electrical signals can travel. A myelin sheath, a sheath, this is a sheath made of a material called myelin, which surrounds the axon of the nerve cell. This stops the electrical nerve signals leaking out of the nerve cell and increases the speed of transmission of the electrical signals. Dendrites are branches of a nerve cell. Several dendrites spread outwards from the cell body in order to transfer electrical messages to other neurons. The electrical messages travel between neurons at synapses. So, nerve cells are specialized to transmit electrical messages around the body. Several dendrites spread outwards from the cell body and these transfer electrical messages to other neurons. A sheath is made of a material called myelin, which surrounds the nerve cell to stop the electrical nerve signals leaking out of the nerve cell. Nerve cells have a long axon in order to increase the distance that nerve signals can travel. So if we recap the features of nerve cells, which helps them be adapted to their role, we know they have a long axon, a myelin sheath, and dendrites, which spread outwards from the cell body. Another specialized cell are muscle cells, which are specialized to produce force and motion. So the features of muscle cells are mitochondria. A muscle cell contains lots of mitochondria to generate lots of energy for motion. And protein fibers, which are found within the cell, which can, can contract, allowing the muscles to move. So muscle cell adaptations include many mitochondria and protein fibers that can contract. So we know that muscle cells have lots of mitochondria as opposed to long tails and protein fibers that can contract. Signals are transmitted across gaps between nerve cells as we talked about earlier and these gaps are called synapses. And to recap the muscle cells again, they contain lots of mitochondria which allow them to release lots of energy and protein fibers are found within the cell which can contract, allowing the muscles to move. And just to talk about it one more time, the many mitochondria and the protein fibers which can contract have adaptations in muscle cells. So to break down the nerve cell features and adaptations, we know that it has three features, a long axon, a myelin sheath and dendrites. The long axon increases the travel distance for the electrical signals. The myelin sheath stops electrical nerve signals from leaking out. And dendrites transfer the electrical messages by spreading outwards from the body. So just recapping that again. And if we are to, if you may in an exam be presented with a diagram in order to label, you want to consider the long axon which runs along from the main cell body. This increases the distance on which, on which the distances can, signals can travel. The dendrites, these are the branches which transfer the electrical messages to other neurons. And the myelin sheath, which is surrounding the axon here, which stops the electrical nerve signals from leaking out of the nerve cell. Okay, so those are the two cells we're going to talk about with the spell spe specialization in animals. This brings all the topic of spell cell specialization in animals to a close. Thank you for listening.